To be like Jesus, Jesus identifies himself with the needy. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, he have done it unto me. Matthew 25 and verse 40 While God in his providence has laid in the earth with his bounties and filled its storehouse with the luxuries of life, there is no excuse whatever for allowing the treasure of God to remain empty. Christians are not excusable for permitting the widow's cries and the orphan's prayer to ascend to heaven because of their suffering want. While a liberal providence has placed in the hands of these Christians abundance to supply their need. Let not the cries of the widow and fatherless call down the vengeance of heaven upon us as a people. In the professed Christian world, there is enough expended in extravagant display for jewels and ornaments to supply the wants of all the hungry and clothe the naked in our towns and cities. And yet, their professed followers of the meek and lowly Jesus need not deprive themselves of suitable food or comfortable clothing. What will these church members say when confronted in the day of God by the worthy poor, the afflicted, the widows, and fatherless, who have known pinching, want for the meager necessities of life, while they were expended by these professed followers of Christ for superfluous clothing and needless ornaments expressly forbidden in the word of God, enough to supply all their wants. We see ladies professing godliness, wearing elegant gold chains, necklace, rings, and other jewelry, while want stucks in the street and suffering and destitute on every side. These do not interest them, nor awaken their sympathy, but they will weep over the imaginary suffering depicted in the last novel. They have no ears for the cries of the needy, no eyes to behold the cold and almost naked forms of women and children around them. They look upon real want as a species of crime and withdraw from suffering humanity as from a contagious disease. To such Christ will say, I was an hunger and he gave me no meat. I was thirsty and he gave me no drink, sick and in prison and he visited me not. But on the other hand, Christ says to the righteous, for I was hungered, and he gave me meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Naked, and he clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. I was in prison, and he came unto me. Thus Christ identifies his interest with that of suffering humanity. Deeds of love and charity done to the suffering are as though done to himself. To be like Jesus, September 11th. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening, and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.